The clock strikes midnight. The day started quietly in this town of 5,000 people. By nightfall, the population has swelled to 10 times that size. A poster provides a clue. It advertises a popular local interactive software game called Cicada Season. The game, set in 1983 in the fictional hamlet of Hinamizawa, concerns a series of mysterious deaths. More than 20,000 websites are devoted to the mystery. This is the game's creator. With a new product set to launch at the end of December, he is busy with last-minute preparations. <laughs> a deadline is not something you can miss. You must make it. The first game was released in 2002. A sequel has followed every six months. The game's popularity has spread through game shops and the internet. Despite the fact that the inventor self-published and privately distributes the game, a remarkable 100,000 units have been sold. This is the town where the game was created and first became successful. This is Akihabara. So this Recently, Akihabara has been the focus of worldwide attention. Known as Akihabara Electric Town, Akihabara transformed itself post-war to become known as a home electronics capital. Then, in the 1990s, people called the otaku, or tech geeks, dramatically changed the character of the town. This town's autonomy can be traced to the free-spirited energy and creativity of its citizens. Relatively unknown people with certain technical hobbies began amassing in one location and in their small way brought the town greater exposure. December 11th, a busy Sunday. People venture out to spend their winter bonuses and do Christmas shopping. Seven cameras follow the town and various individuals as they go about their day. This is a town that attracts both the fanatics and the tech geeks. Spend a day with us as we unravel the mystery of Akihabara. The game has begun. A young man awakens to the syrupy, sweet voice of a young girl. Good morning. Ikki Motohara, 20 years old, looks like an ordinary college student. But in Akihabara, he's famous for his obsession with pretty young female anime characters. His walls and ceilings are covered with images of these girls. Every inch of his small room is plastered. His monthly living expenses are $850. But because he keeps buying girl character merchandise, his daily food budget is $4. Often I forget to eat. The characters may all seem similar, but not to Motohara. Each girl has a different name. This one is Yamashina Miyako. This one is Watarai Asuka. They all have different personalities. Not really, not now. What do you mean? I can't stand this. Let's go. He's upset.
The stores are ready to open. The radio center, under the elevated railway, is the first to open its shutters. Akihabara was an important transportation hub before the Second World War. After the war, various stalls and wholesalers set up businesses beneath the elevated railways. Initially, vocational students assembled radios as part-time jobs, sales took off, and other stores began to sell electronic parts and radios. In 1950, about half of the stores were dealing in items that ran on electricity, forming the basis for the name Electric Town. The radio center was established in 1950. This parts store located in it opened the same year. Koichi Shimayama's family owns the business, so he works here. Okay, it's done. Electrical appliances are packed into every nook and cranny of the six-foot square space. These bulbs for classroom start at 31 cents. And these are sockets. 